folks with the legendary Gil Brandt, who really created computerized scouting for the Dallas Cowboys. Gil, what are your thoughts on the quarterbacks this year for the NFL draft? I think both of these quarterbacks are pretty good. In fact, I think we've got a real good class of quarterbacks. Uh, you know, I, 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 quarterbacks are like seven foot centers in, in basketball, there aren't enough of them. So you have to hope uh, that you're able to move up or hope that you're in a position to get somebody uh, by finishing last and then rebuilding your team. But I like both of the two guys that will probably go at the top. I think they're both playoff people. Uh, I think the Memphis quarterback is a good quarterback. Hackenberg. Talk about Paxton Lynch. Paxton Lynch, yeah. yes. Hackenberg, uh, Cook. Uh, I think there's some pretty good quarterbacks in this draft. How would you evaluate uh, Trevor Boykin from TCU? Because his, his life was clouded with that bar incident. Well, that's unfortunate. He looked very good at his pro day. He threw the ball very good, roll out, waggle passes. He threw the ball very good. Uh, you know, he's um, not real tall, uh, about six foot tall. Uh, and, you know, I, I think a lot of people are disappointed what happened that night down in San Antonio. And what about also there's a kid out of Western Kentucky. Yes, Dory. Yeah, and who is the NCAA passing efficiency leader this year and number two last year. What are your thoughts about him? Well, he's a big kid. He's a little older. I think he's about 25 years mm -hmm. old. Uh, but he played very well at Western Kentucky. And, and they had a good system for him, too, uh, at Western Kentucky. The head coach was very, very passing game knowledgeable. Now, how do you think scouting has changed since you've done it? Or has it come that far? Because well, it's come from about, uh, if you can picture a, a one-story motel in West Texas someplace, <laughs> uh, to the Sears Tower here in town, it's still growing. Right. I mean, it's, uh, you know, in 1964, when we drafted here in Chicago, I think we had eight media people, eight. Uh, they have 1,700 credentials this year. This year. Uh, you know, tickets to the thing are hard to get. But, but the point about it, scouting that you ask is that, uh, I would remember going to a school and say, well, you're the first guy that's been here this fall. Now you might see 10 guys at a school in one day. Wow. And then we have, uh, when we have the pro day in which we have about 400 of those, and you always have at least two of them there, people there, teams there. Sometimes there's 20, 32 teams there. Oh, yeah, social media had an impact as well. Oh, I'm sure it has. It's, uh, I guess people can access uh, the draft and everybody's opinion. And, and their mock drafts and uh, all that a lot easier than ever before. Hey, I know we got a lot of stuff going outside. Thanks for the time. All right. I appreciate it.